Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a little storm that I was monitoring last night uh, off our south coast is now well out to sea. Just brushed the area late last night and very early this morning with a coating of snow in southern Rhode Island, southern Massachusetts. And as expected, the Cape, the islands picked up the most anywhere between uh, one and four inches of snow out in uh, Nantucket. So it was one of those situations where you really had to be out here to do any shoveling this morning. But Doppler radar is nice and quiet. Skies are clear. The air is dry and uh, certainly that chill in the air for now. So very cold for this evening. Uh, a windy weekend is on tap. Boaters gale warning for uh, tomorrow. Uh, a brief warm up for Saturday and Sunday. Then some big uh, weather changes ahead. Uh, for next week. We'll uh, we'll be a little busy here in the weather center. So we're going to cover all that in the seven day in just a second. But skies are clear in Providence right now. The temperature at 24. You throw in that brisk wind. It feels colder. That is the wind chill. It's running at only 13. But heading out, you know, driving tonight, there's no problems, no ice or snow or precipitation. So, you know, dinner, movie, wherever you're going, it's fine. Just dress accordingly. Obviously, it's cold. Maybe a little uh, Chapstick or that lip balm. Look at the humidity, 31%. When it's that dry, obviously, your skin loses a lot of moisture. Your lips get chapped, so blame it on the weather. Uh, temperatures now, most spots between 20 and 25. Now, normally, if you have temperatures this cold this early in the evening, it is going to turn frigid late at night. However, that won't happen tonight. If anything, these numbers are actually going to go up. Uh, later tonight and towards daybreak, but still very cold the first half of the night. As we check out future casts, uh, snow to our north will stay away. It'll, it'll stay up in northern New England. You can see the clear skies. So for this evening, initially it's quite chilly under clear skies. By midnight, we'll see some extra clouds start to roll in and a temperature at 20. But overnight tonight, the temperature actually goes up a little bit. So by early tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., it's at 28 degrees with partly sunny conditions. And notice the warm up by 11 o'clock in the morning it's 39. It was only 25 this afternoon. So we're heading in the right direction. The only downside is a windy day both during the morning and afternoon. Futurecast, very simple. Just follow the clock. We'll show you the sky conditions and the temperature. And notice late at night, these numbers don't go down, but rather they go up by daybreak. 7 o'clock in the morning, clouds and hazy sunshine. It's dry. Draw your attention now to 1 o'clock. Look at that. It's not 25 like today, but it's in the mid 40s with sunshine, but windy and dry. And then by tomorrow evening, partly cloudy conditions as temperatures drop back down to the uh, mid and upper 30s. Here's tomorrow afternoon in more detail. Boaters, gale warning, strong wind, 20, 25 knots, gusting 30, 35 knots, a mix of clouds and sunshine. And while temperatures are forecasted to be in the mid 40s, the wind makes it feel a little cooler. So it is a blustery day, but at least it's on the dry side. Seven day outlook, Sunday's not bad during the day, but turning sharply colder for that Patriots game on Sunday night. And to talk about cold, some of the coldest weather of the season next week. Next chance of any snow comes Monday night into Tuesday morning with another chance next Friday. Coldest day of the week next week will be a Wednesday with a daytime high of only uh, 22. So brief warm up this weekend and then round number two of very cold weather arrives for next week. All right. Thanks, Tony.